Welcome back. Joining me is Paul Hoverman, Executive Director of the Nicewanger Performing Arts Center of Northwest Ohio. He's here to talk about their upcoming season. Paul, good to see you back on the show. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks for having me. The, uh, the Performing <coughs> Arts Center out there in Van Wert, Ohio, Nicewanger mm -hmm. Performing Arts Center, how many years have you been, have you been working? In, well, there, this, and, um, this is actually our fourth complete season. Uh, we started in March of 07, mm -hmm. so we got a little bit of a season in there, but we're calling this our fourth complete season now. And how are things yeah. going? Going well, yeah. yeah. We're, uh, we're real pleased with how things are going and uh, attendance and uh, the energy that's behind everything. Absolutely. You guys have a great season coming up. We're going to talk about, okay. uh, talk about that uh, on the show. You know, coming up first, uh, you have a wide variety, of course. You have mm -hmm. Rockapella. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which is like a, I guess an acapella rock group. I don't know. Tell us, yeah. tell us about. Yeah, this. well, it's a group that I've always kind of wanted to get uh, into Van Wert sometime. Um, we've had uh, some different acapella groups, uh, vocal groups. Rockapella, in my mind, is kind of the epitome of all of those groups. Maybe one of the uh, beginning groups that really started things going with the energy, mm -hmm. and, and now of course Glee with on, on TV of and course. things, uh, has kind of re-energized that whole uh, idea of singing with, uh, mm -hmm. with groups like that. Mm -hmm. Jazz choir. And yeah, all, yeah. yeah, exactly. And Rockapella is, uh, I think, uh, uh, five guys that, uh, that sing acapella, obviously. They mm -hmm. do all their music without accompaniment. I see. But if you heard them, and uh, hopefully a lot of people will have a chance to, uh, you would definitely think that they had instruments in oh there. Oh my God. You would think they had a, a bass and you would think they had a drummer. Matter of fact, they have a, uh, a guy who, who does, uh, they call it mouth percussion. Mm. And uh, he'll do all the percussion sounds. Uh, he calls it spitting for a living, <laughs> is what he calls it. Uh, and they have another guy who's, a, they call him a super bass, and he does the bass sounds. Oh my God. Uh, and then the vocals on top of that. It's always a fun evening to see what people can do with their voices. It's, it is. It's kind of like amazing human tricks. Yeah, anyway, it is. That's November 4th. Uh, November 4th, it's a Friday night. Mm -hmm. Purposely pick that date, because I'm not sure how it is here in Indiana, but in Ohio, that is the first Friday night void of football unless you're in the playoffs. Oh. So for us over in Van Wert, unfortunately. You're talking about high school. High school football. Okay, high school football, yeah. yeah. Uh, unfortunately for us in, in Van Wert, <laughs> we will not be in the playoffs, uh, but that'll be the first Friday night that people hopefully are looking for something to do. <laughs> and uh, on November 4th, it's great to come inside instead of being outside. Well, you know, you know speaking about sports, uh, just right after that, on November 6th, mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for those of us who are basketball fans, uh -huh. you're doing a one-man show called Coach. It's about the legendary Al McGuire. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's a one-man play that, um, uh, that I happened to see when I was in New York City back last January. Mm -hmm. um, and they were uh, premiering that show at the New York Athletic Club. And I wanted to go see. I wanted to go see the play for a couple of reasons. One is I wanted to just go to the New York Athletic Club, which I thought would mm -hmm. be a cool place to, be, and it really is. Uh, it's everything that you can imagine. Um, it's where they give the Heisman Trophy out, oh. uh, and have done that for years. So I wanted to go there. And the other thing was Dick Enberg was going to be there, and Dick Enberg is the man who wrote the play. Uh, of course, he was Al's partner. Uh, right. Announced sports announcer. Yeah. Partner for I think about 10 years. Yeah. Uh, he and Billy Packer and uh, of course Al McGuire yeah. were, the, uh, were the three, the trio who would announce uh, NCAA basketball for right. a year, well, 10 years. And Al McGuire, uh, after he passed away, Dick Enberg wanted to do some kind of a tribute to him. And uh, I don't know how many people know it, but Dick Enberg, who is legendary sports announcer, done Super Bowls, World Series. Still around, I think. Still is, yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, he's the voice of the San Diego Padres, mm -hmm. uh, who are now done with the season. Uh, but uh, And he still does some golf tournaments, yeah. but he's trying to slow down. And in his slowing down years, uh, he's a big theater attender. He loves theater. Mm -hmm. And he decided uh, he'd like to write a play. And he wrote it about the one of the most colorful men that he ever ran into, mm -hmm. and that was Al McGuire. And it's being performed by Cotter Smith. That's right. An actor. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, and I don't know how many people maybe know Cotter Smith, but if you Google the name Cotter Smith, which I did mm -hmm. just recently, um, you'll find all the different TV shows that he's been on, movies that he's appeared in, uh, some Broadway shows. I think I saw over 25 TV shows, a lot of them that I recognize. And you know, when I went to see Cotter Smith do this play, I thought, this guy looks familiar. He's the same one you saw who did it in New York. Yes, uh-huh, yeah. And uh, I looked at the guy, and I heard his voice, and I thought, boy, he sounds awfully familiar. But he really captures, he's a professional uh, actor. He captures this uh, Al McGuire and about the whole story. It plays it first person, mm -hmm. Al McGuire, growing up from a kid all the way up through playing basketball, coaching basketball, and then eventually uh, announcing. Right, and he with really, you know, McGuire was really the guy a, a lot of people consider who has made college basketball as popular as it is. And yeah. you know, before it was all professional, and right. of course now college basketball is huge. Oh, yeah. And, 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 yeah. and McGuire was the coach of, the, of Marquette, and he won the NCAA championship. 1977. So yeah. uh, I think a lot of us uh, remember Al McGuire, and, and this sounds like a very, very powerful movie, yeah. moving show. He was, he was certainly a character, yeah. and that's what Dick Enberg talks about. And Dick Enberg does a, uh, an intro into the show, a videotaped intro, where he talks about how they used to do basketball, and when they brought Al McGuire in, it just turned the thing upside down. <laughs> As a matter of fact, yeah. they, they originally put Al McGuire off camera in a separate area because they didn't think they could trust him on camera. <laughs> uh, and they found out that people loved his, his character and, and charisma so much that it wasn't long before they put him oh, on camera, fantastic. and the rest was history. I think we all know. Now, following that, well, something completely back to some music here. We've got the Air Force Band in Flight. Uh huh. Uh, Air November, Force. Yeah, November 13th. Yeah, Air Force Band of Flight out of Wright Patterson Air Force Base. Uh, they're always popular, and people um, in our area just uh, really support the military and all the endeavors. And uh, the Air Force Band of Flight, I think, is one of about 10 um, full time uh, musical groups as far as bands. Yeah, I, and you know. we've had them before. And uh, people just love them, and they come, and they're going to do actually a salute to Veterans Day. Oh, fantastic! Of course, that'll be right around Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. That'll be at three o'clock, and I think it's a Sunday afternoon. That's right. That's right. November thirteenth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, not too many people get to come on the show and say, "I'm sorry, I'm all sold out," and you're not sold out on the Air Force Band, but but you are sold out with Kenny G and John Tesh. You've had those guys come before out to Van, where people are really catching on and. Yeah. Uh, no more tickets left on those, huh? Well, there aren't. Um, however, if somebody really wants to come, I would suggest that they call our box office okay. and get their name on a waiting list. Mm -hmm. uh, we always have comps that we have to hold back for the artist, and it seems like they come in and then they release a few of those tickets. So then we start going right down our waiting list. I see. So an outside chance that maybe someone could okay, still get in there. Okay, because those are real popular performers. I know you were able to talk Kenny G into doing two performances out there last year. Maybe you could still do that. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that, but uh, the interesting thing, Kenny G actually contacted us this year. Wonderful. His, his uh, booking agency and said, we know he was wildly successful there. Would you like to have him back? And I don't, ra I rarely, repeat performers, uh, but well, hey, NAG, he's worth it. Christmas, yeah. Well, let's talk about some things that there's still tickets for. Sure. Nutcracker coming in mm -hmm. on December 3rd, uh, Toledo Ballet. Right. And mm -hmm. uh, that's gonna be a real, real special event. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. Uh, when we were looking at Christmas this year, uh, and we have actually five Christmas shows this year, which is very aggressive, mm -hmm. uh, but three of them are all already sold out. Uh, but the Nutcracker, we decided to do two shows. We haven't done a Nutcracker in our area for uh, four years. And so I thought it was just time to bring that back. Sure. A great family event. Everybody has to see the Nutcracker. Sure. And this is with the Ballet Theater of Toledo. Mm -hmm. And uh, so professional dancers who also are going to incorporate a few local dancers uh, who actually audition for oh, some course. spec parts yeah. in some, there. Some little girls in there. You've and got to have your yeah, mice and, and all those things. factor going. That's right, yeah. Uh, after that, you have uh, the Skaggs family Christmas, Ricky Skaggs and family, Ricky mm -hmm. Skaggs of you know, Bill Monroe fame. And, sure, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, legendary uh, country bluegrass uh, musician. Right. Uh, right. Tell us about that concert. Well, we actually had Ricky Skaggs with uh, Kentucky Thunder, his bluegrass group. Mm -hmm. We had him about three years ago, 
Mm -hmm. And he told us at the time, he said, oh, you've got to have my Christmas show. <laughs> of course, he was plugging his Christmas show, uh, making um, good uh, rehiring for himself. Uh, but he said, it's a wonderful Christmas show because mm -hmm. what I do is I bring, I bring my family and my wife's family, the White family, which is pretty legendary mm -hmm. in, in the country gospel circles uh, in the Nashville area and things. And I guess it's just like uh, coming into Ricky's uh, living room at Christmas time and pulling up a chair and saying, let's sit around and let's play some. And it really is. It's the whole family. Yeah, And that's on, December, that's on December 11th. Uh, the season's already mm -hmm. underway. Uh, can people still get season subscriptions? We only have about 30 seconds left. Okay. But, uh, how can people get tickets out there to uh, Nice Wander? Well, uh, we're selling single tickets uh, like we always do. Uh, all of those that we've mentioned, single tickets are available. Uh, we do a select series so that if you find three or more concerts that you'd like to attend, uh, you can package those together, get a little discount, and uh, possibly buy in advance for some down the line. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are still available also. Well, good. We have some uh -huh. great things going on out there, Paul. And, uh, and Van Wert's not too far away, about, what, mm -hmm. 30 minutes on the highway? 30, 35 minutes. 30, 35 yeah. minutes. So um, yeah. have a great season. It's always good to have you on the show. Great. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Chuck. For more information about the Nicewanger Performing Arts Center and how you can get tickets, please visit their website at npacvw.org or call their box office at 419-238-6722. Arts Weekly airs every week Tuesday through Thursday on College Access Television and most Sundays on WFWA PBS. You can also see us on YouTube and Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I'm Chuck O'Connor. Thanks for tuning in to Arts Weekly. Join me next week with Mande Music Master Bolakata Conde and Richard Resch from the Concordia Seminary.